guys, today's review is going to be on none other than the long-awaited, very patiently, Evora. The Evora MM, and I decided to film this in the light just because um, I was filming something else downstairs and thought, hey, you can actually see this bag very nice. So, let's just get started. All of the gold hardware on this bag say Louis Vuitton except for this little piece right here, which is quite common. But every single piece has Louis Vuitton printed on it. Now the inside, it's Alcantara lining. And there's a D-ring right there. There are two pockets. And you have your date code. Let's see, right here, pointing towards the back of the bag. So pointing towards the opposite part of the bag. Here's your stamp, which is in the back of the bag. So not the front, but the back. And let me just give you a tour. Oops. Quick tour. Now, let me uh, show you close up, way more better than this. <laughs> Hi guys, I just wanna measure the bag for you. So I just wanna show you at the top, the widest this bag measures is 14 inch, or the shortest width is 14 inches. And its widest width is 15 inches. In the front and then on the sides the bag is going to measure I know this I'm doing this upside down um, four inches at its widest and three inches at its uh, I know it's kind of I'm measuring this part right here three inches at its um, shortest base and the pocket right here the front pocket measures eight inches deep and the strap measures 26 inches at its longest and at its shortest it'd be 21 inches since there are four notches so it's 21 inches here or 26 inches here sorry let me just show you what oh did I measure the top sorry about that from top to bottom it's gonna measure at its where it should be measured it's uh, 13 inches and then on the sides, it's going to measure 13 and a half inches. So it's 13 inches here, 13 and a half on the side, 15 right here, 14 right here, 4 inches right here, and 3 inches here, and 8 inches the pocket. So let me show you what I have inside. Down. So here is an iPad, a pochette, oops, a makeup case, an agenda PM, just a, a case, a clay, and my phone is in the front. So here is the inside. Now let me just put it all back in. <laughs> so I put the clay right here and I'll put the pochette in, in just a big hole and um, the iPad here, the cosmetic case. I'm trying to stack them so that they all fit nicely. The agenda. This little case here and I'll put my phone 
in the front because it is easy access. And I think this bag looks very nice the way it is without a, a bag charm, but I mean, you could put it there. It's just, there's so much detail already in this bag. It really doesn't need it. So here's with the strap. There's a good view. Okay, let me show you the different ways to wear this bag or modeling shots. So this bag um, has its most shape if you carry it this way, handbag style, or this way. But once you put it on your shoulder, you kind of have to push that down. It starts to lose a little bit of its shape. These will go down. And of course there is this way, but once you wear it over your shoulder like this, this will go in. So this will kind of go this way. So the Evora is a very slouchy bag and the best way to get the most out of its shape is going to be wearing it these two ways. Now in comparison to the Neverfull, in case you have it for size reference, here are the two bags side by side. They're very similar in shape and I will put both of them on as a shoulder bag to show you. This Evora comes up very high under your arms, but I love it. Um, and someone also wanted to, to ask um, for crossbody. That'll be a no. I'm not even going to try it on its lowest setting. Well, let me, let me just show you. Evora on its lowest setting looks like this. So, and I'm 5'10", so it'll probably look even. If you're like four foot five, it'll probably be a nice crossbody. But I know a lot of people um, want to know about the uh, the Daimia e Bean key file strap. I do not have the Daimia e Bean, but um, I was requested to do this, so I'm just going to show you what the key pile strap, which I plan on getting, will look like. And this will make the perfect crossbody bag. So just um, before you dislike my video, just let me show you what. Um, the request was, and this is just a Vachetta re, uh, key pal strap, and this is on its middle setting, and this would make a perfect crossbody bag. It would be perfect if you had that key pal strap. So yeah, just think outside the box here, get a little creative, and this is on the mid setting. So, when I get my Daimia Evian key pal strap, I'll use that. And this is going to be the bag without the strap. How it looks. Very cute, but I think I like the strap. I like the way it hangs because these are pretty large, the little um, grommets. And this looks like something belongs there. So these are my modeling shots for you guys to see. Did the twirl. Yeah. Gotta love this bag. <laughs> so that was my review on the Evora MM. I have not seen the, G the GM, but this is already a large bag. I have nothing negative to say about the bag except for two things, which is... Um, the Diamond E Bean canvas is awesome. It's all weatherproof. The only bad thing is it's the leather. It's treated leather, so sometimes it begins to crack a little bit um, or just kind of bunch up, and that's the only thing I don't like about it. And the fact that this bag um, doesn't always keep its shape is probably a good thing and a bad thing because it'll a good thing and a bad thing because it molds to your body and it's so squishy and just comfortable. And as the more you use it, the more soft it gets. So be prepared for it not to. Um, always keep that nice little bold shape that you always see when you do use it like this. It'll it'll get squishy. So that's my review on the Evora MM. Hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask because that's what I'm here for. Take care guys. Bye. No more kitty pa.